We can go farther and faster. A long time ago, how did people get from one place to another? When there were no rides like bicycles or trains, they moved by walking or swimming. People wanted to go farther and faster, so they made various things to ride. They made cars that run faster than animals and boats that can sail far on water. They also made airplanes that can fly like birds. There are rides being made that can go farther and faster. What kind of rides will be made in the distant future? Prehistoric times. A long time ago, birds flew in the sky. People used to walk with two feet on the ground and ride rafts on the river and the sea. Five thousand years ago, people wanted to fly like the birds, but it was only a dream. People on the ground found out that they could easily move heavy rocks if you put it on top of logs and roll rocks on it. Then they thought up a wheel that rolls. On the sea, they could move without much effort. Two thousand years ago, there were still only birds in the sky, but people put wheels on a wagon and moved heavy goods with it. They were able to do a lot of work thanks to wheels. Ships with sails became bigger and were able to do many things. It was because people made ships with many oars that could move fast, ships that could be loaded full of goods, and ships that could fight in wars. This ship is a galley. It is a large ship that sails by oars. It was made during the Greek age, and it was over 35 meters long. 1,000 years ago, there were more ships crossing the sea, and so there were more pirate ships as well. On land, horses, which were faster than humans, pulled wagons. Carriages were loaded with goods and people. People were able to go farther and faster, even with heavy goods. The pirates who used to ride boats and loot many countries were called Vikings. One of the pirate ships they used to sail on was the Viking ship. Five hundred years ago, that is around 1500 A.D. People thought deeply for a long time. They thought about ways to fly in the sky, ways to move things faster than horses, and ways to go farther and faster on the sea. Two hundred years ago, people were finally able to fly in the sky. They flew in the sky by either putting hot air into a giant balloon, or by putting a gas lighter than air into it. Steamships were made that moved on the sea by boiling water, while steam engines ran on land. What's that flying in the sky? It is a glider flying by the power of the wind. There were more trains and people riding bicycles on the ground. There were ships with propellers sailing on the sea. Ships that could carry four thousand people were made. Cars that used oil for fuel were made around 1870. There were oil tankers carrying oil on the sea, while submarines moved around under the sea. Now there was no need to move ships by boiling water. All you needed was oil to move everything. 1903 was a special year. That was the year the Wright brothers made the first real airplane that could fly in the air, powered by machines. On the sea, there were more people wanting to travel to faraway countries by sailing on cruise ships. At the time, the first railroad was also made in Korea. You could see motorcycles on the streets too. 
It was 1930. Airplanes with many people flew over clouds and different looking cars ran on the ground. On the sea, there were giant aircraft carriers that could carry airplanes. In 1950, 60 years ago, there were jet airplanes that flew fast as the wind. There were also helicopters that looked like dragonflies. In the streets of Seoul, there were yellow taxis and buses running around. There were also bicycles made in Korea that ran around the streets. A high-speed railway, much faster than most trains, was first built in Japan. Around 1970, people's dreams were going towards space. In 1969, Apollo 11 from the U.S. landed on the moon. On sea, many different kinds of ships caught fish, moved cargo, carried oil, and even moved airplanes. Around this time, Korea also began to make cars by itself. By 1980, when mom and dad were about our age, people were able to go anywhere with airplanes. It was even possible to go to space with a space shuttle. Roads were filled with cars and the subway began running underground. Outside Earth, space stations were made where space shuttles can stop by to rest. People are making cars running on electricity or heat from the sun. If you go to the sea, you can ride yachts or tourist submarines. People today are still thinking about how they can go farther and faster. At this speed, we may be able to make time machines that can jump over time. Around 1500 AD, Leonardo da Vinci designed the Ornithopter, an airplane that flies with wings modeled from the fins of a flying fish and the wings of a bat. In 1814, an Englishman named Stevenson invented the steam engine. It was a train that moved by burning coals. In 1899, a railroad between Seoul and Incheon was made. It was the first railroad in Korea, and it was called the Kyongin Line. The name of the first car made in Korea was called Shibal. It was first made in 1955, and it took four months to make one car. In Korea, the subway began in 1974. The subway at the time only ran between Seoul Station and Chongyang-ni. 